Hi everyone, welcome to our 100 day project. Today I got a comment, I'm not sure who it was, but when I find it, once I start uploading this video, I'll put her name across the screen. She said, why don't Richard and I do a 10 minute challenge with each other's page? So I start working on my page for 10 and set the timer for 10 minutes and then we switch places and he starts working on my page and I work on his page and so on until we think they're done. So we're going to do that today. I have no clue what I'm doing and he has no clue what he's doing, but every 10 minutes we're going to change places. <laughs> so wish us the best of luck. Oh, and I had my tooth pulled yesterday and um, it was supposed to be really simple. It was a back back molar extraction. It ended up being dental surgery, but I was awake. So I have stitches in my mouth and yeah. So if I sound like I have a mouthful of marbles, that's why. So anyway, we're gonna get started right now. Are you ready, Richard? Okay. This blank page. I have a blank page. Set the timer. Let me get my watch, my phone out. Set the timer. Ten minutes. Okay. Ready? Set. Okay. Go. Begin. So it's probably about twenty more seconds. Oh, one second. Timer's up. Pencils down. Okay. So now we have to switch. So that's all I've done, and this is what Richard has done on his, looks like a cityscape, I think, kind of. Okay, next 10 minutes, here we go. Okay, the timer just went off. So I put paper pieces in the window. Richard added two people around my heart. Okay, <laughs> so timer on again, here we go. This is so much fun. Time's up, I feel like I'm running. Anyway, I crackled the heart in that last 10 minutes spent time crackling the heart and hand me that one we're just actually just moving our books side like switching books instead of switching chairs there you go and richard made the nighttime scene in the background like the shadow of the building i guess and that's the moon correct sure yeah yeah. Okay. And we carry on. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Go. Okay. I had a little bit of a booby, but I boo boo, but I think I fixed it. So this is um, graffiti on the side of the building, and that's as far as I got. Okay. And Richard, what did you do? He shaded in the girls' clothes and the guys' clothes. I think yes. And put some kind of rock formation in the background. <laughs> I don't know what it is, okay. Okay, so I started painting the background of the, whatever these are, I think they're bricks or walls or, I don't know. Just going with it, people, going with it. So, okay, switcheroo. And Richard painted the other building kind of darkish like that. And this, the alley, right? All right, and we carry on. Okay, so on this last round, I added stars in the sky. I went around the windows with charcoal. I put a really pretty green acrylic, uh, liquid acrylic on top of the black. And I added a bike to the back alley. So we've got graffiti and the bike. And so now I'll give it to Richard and wait for the timer. And on this one, he did a whole bunch of radiating, the radiating from the heart. And that's what he was doing for 10 minutes, that radiating from the heart. So yeah, we're almost done. We might have like maybe two more rounds of 10 minutes and we'll be done. So I better go and see what I can do to this one. Okay. <laughs> So here's our collaborative paintings. So the first one is in my book and I started with the red heart. Richard added the people and then we just went from there. Um, he added the, well you saw the process. So I 
put those flowers on there and then painted them and this Mr. and Mrs. came off of a scrapbook page and then he did the rays and I put white around to make it all pop off that orangey background and added some hearts and yeah so uh, and here's Richard and well in his book I don't want to say Richard's because it's both of ours um, so you know that I he drew the uh, back alley scene I guess was it the back alley yeah. kind of cityscape yeah cityscape and then and he drew the fire escapes and stuff and the windows and then I put paper on the windows I added the graffiti and the bike he drew the man on and the little cat running from the garbage can he drew the moon and the sky and I put stars in I made the building green and this building that color and yeah they were true collaborative paintings so today is our 25th day means we're one quarter of the way through this hundred day planner so we thought on every 25th so the, on the next time we'll collaborate will be on the 50th day and the 75th and so on so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that process it really was fun because you have no clue what you're going to be doing next absolutely none this one had more of a a story line I guess for me it was easier to you know what I mean how about you yeah actually when I saw the heart I put the two people together holding hands and that just yeah that set the yeah, tone on this one, one. Yeah. and and then I don't know why her, it looks like her butt is big but I think she had a dress on didn't she yeah but then you then I don't know what happened but she's got a big booty <laughs> and uh yeah, but it's lots of fun to do that. It really is a lot. What did you think, Richard, of the process? Yeah, yeah. and now, now what I see, what we can do for the 50th one, I, you know, you can actually plan it a little bit more. But that's the thing we don't want to plan. Well, you can plan it because it's kind of, kind of fun. Okay. Yeah, like you, ha you, you start with a theme. The but theme. you don't know that... The other person's going to go along, along with your theme. Yeah, yeah that's, but you did. But yeah, you I kind of did. did, yeah. And I followed yours. Kind of. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, because of did. the heart and made it, you know. So what did you think how your original ended up looking like that? I think it's actually great. I like, I like, it reminds me of a painter, either Gauguin, no, what's his name, Gauguin? It reminds me of that Morris or, Utrillo. He does those, um... Sort of back. Uh, uh, yeah, it just yeah, reminds me of It reminds stuff. me of an old painter. Yeah. Just the colors. Mm -hmm. I just don't remember what. I have to look it up now. I can't remember. But what did you think of collaborating, putting like, idea. my style yeah. on yours yeah. and your well, like style? Like I say, your one. style is more dominant than mine. So I it, don't think it so. Is. It is. But it doesn't matter. I think it's cool. No, I know, but I'm, I don't think because, it is. Because once you start laying layers on top of my pencil drawings, yeah, that's true. it totally takes makes it, pop. makes it pop out. You know, you and then put and this is molded, yeah. so you can see that the graffiti is molded. Three dimensional. Yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, like what I'm saying is like, it's good to see that mm -hmm. that what you can do and what I what what I put into it and what you change it by putting your three-dimensional images to it and that's that's pretty cool yeah it's kind of fun yeah it was fun because you're just like watching the clock and you're just and then you get caught up and then all of a sudden 10 minutes is yeah. gone you know and it makes my drawings more I, I don't have to be more per, so precise in my oh, right. drawings that's true and so it lets me be looser in my drawings yeah, so because yeah, like yeah. the old man I didn't have to sit down and draw you the didn't cat. have to have the full the cat yeah. didn't have to be a full cat, cat. it's just a, the anatomy of a real yeah, cat yeah. it's more of a yeah so whimsical but that was really fun so i hope you guys enjoyed this and we will see you tomorrow bye bye